The head of CSIS is disputing claims made by former Public Safety Minister Bill Blair that the intelligence agency chose not to pass on information about foreign interference and threats to MPs. It was part of a long day of testimony on Parliament Hill that also included new details about RCMP investigations. CTV's Ottawa Bureau Chief Joyce Napier reports. Appearing once again before the Parliamentary Committee looking into foreign interference, the RCMP commissioner said there are now as many as 100 investigations underway across the country, including one into allegations that Conservative MP Michael Chong was targeted by the Chinese government. When did the RCMP open its investigation concerning Beijing's intimidation and campaign targeting MP Chong? We found out about it through the committee here and, and through the media. The head of CSIS told the committee that Chong was only briefed after the media broke the story that he was being targeted by China because the rules governing the agency didn't allow it. I do believe that members of parliament should be receiving uh, more information. I think, I think the world that we're in now requires that we adopt our approaches, and that includes CSIS. It is becoming clear information from security agencies is not often shared with government or the RCMP, and when it is, Government officials don't always inform their superiors. It was not a memorandum for action. It was a report for awareness. Two days before the 2021 election, then National Security Advisor David Morrison received a CSIS memo warning about Beijing allegedly targeting parliamentarians, but did not name specific MPs. He said he doesn't even remember reading it at the time. I was at the time fully occupied with the evacuation from Afghanistan as Kabul had fallen only two days before. Since Johnson stepped down, the government has invited opposition parties to suggest who should replace him and what public process should be established to continue investigating foreign interference. I think it's good that we're seeing uh, contributions, uh, constructive contributions uh, from various parties right now. And the opposition is huddling to find a replacement for Johnston. So far, they say it could be a judge, nonpartisan, someone with no ties to Justin Trudeau. The search is on Omar, and the government wants an answer by next week. All right, Joyce, thank you.